Hey everybody, Brian here. So on this video, I want to show you this car here. This is a 20, uh, sorry, 2019. And this is Peugeot 3008. And this is a 130 brake, 1.5 diesel. And this is what's called an Allure Mod. Anyway, in this video, we're going to run the features on the outside and the inside of the car. And by the end of the video, you'll know what this car is all about. If you're coming to look at the car, then you have a good idea of what you're coming to see. Or in general, if you're just trying to find out a bit more about these cars and you're slightly unfamiliar, then you may or may not find this video to be useful. Anyway, I'm going to start off by showing the stuff, I think, that's cool on the outside of this car. On the front, there appears to be a lot of chrome. So I really like these um, kind of bullnose Pe uh, Peugeot front ends with the big kind of chrome grille. Nice sort of finish on it, especially on a nice sunny day like today. And then there is nice chrome around the fog lights. This is, so like, this is kind of like a silvery gray kind of color, but that's actually a skid plate. So it is a slightly different color down along here. I think that looks really sharp on the front. So they're a very, very, very pretty car, I have to say. When this new design theme came on Peugeot's over the last few years, they really have been uh, kind of a uh, design shape that probably manufacturers have had to kind of up their game to stay within because they've really done a good job on the look of the cars. There appears to be parking sensors on the front and even side sensors over there as well. Right, thinking about what we just saw on the front in terms of chrome and brushed aluminium, there's more chrome down through here. There is brushed, oops, brushed aluminium roof rails over along through there. And you see then simple things like tinted glass along here, but you see the way the C pillar here becomes black. So this is really seamless, the way the black comes around to the back. The taillights are super cool looking. Uh, so they have those kind of three, almost like a tiger's claw kind of. Uh, maybe that is the idea, maybe it's not. Uh, and the little bit of red on top that comes around. Very, very chic looking. Very, very nice. Again, chrome along through here, which matches what we saw already on the car. And then even things like, it's such a nice font that they use for the Persia sign on the back. But again, like what you saw on the black around here, there's black that kind of comes down along there on the boot lid and breaks it up. Very, very nice looking. And then even the way, like a black bumper, normally you'd say like I'd rather a color coded bumper. But actually I think a lot of people always complain on cars. They don't like the way this, um, they have around the arches. See like on the likes of the Tucson and stuff like that. I actually think that works. So you got black here, more black here, around here, all the way down the side. I actually think it adds to the look of the car. All the manufacturers can't be wrong. If most of them seem to be doing that these days. So very, very nice looking vehicle. Uh, just while we're on the topic then, we have seen parking sensors on the front of the car. There's also parking sensors on the rear of the car. And then the wheels are a diamond cut finish. So you see the way they're really shiny and reflective uh, on a day like today where it's warm or under artificial light. They look quite nice. Right, let's have a look at the boot. So the boot of the car to open it up, little rubber button under here. Uh, the boot's decent, uh, I do have to say. Uh, and then under there, I presume there's a spare wheel, which there is. And uh, the other thing as well is you can drop the seats. So you see here, I can pull that. It's quite fast actually, the way they work. So you can drop the seats down, and if you wanted, you could take this tano cover here, and then it gives you a really large load area in the back. There is lighting there. There's also actually a ski through, so you can open that down. If you have something awkward and you want to leave the seats up, sometimes that's useful. Drinks holder in the armrest. And then in terms of the seating, three head restraints, three three-point safety belts. Obviously guys, a fix on both sides. Half leather, leather here, leather in through the center, cloth either side there, more leather. Uh, storage back through here. There is 12 volt and some ventilation in through here. Obviously chai locks and electrics for windows and chai lockable electric windows at that. Space in the back is pretty good. Um, so headroom is decent and legroom is decent. You see the way the seat dips so if you were taller your knees would have more space. Very very clever. There's a pretty decent level of lighting in here. So they're, they're actually LED. That's kind of cool. LED up through the center. Very very nice. Uh, in the front I tell you, do you know what? The first time I saw one of these, I thought this was pretty nice here. This is like material. So you got plastic, padded leather, where your arm might touch. There is nice material here. Um, brushed aluminium for door handle, electrics for windows and mirrors, chai lockable windows and doors we talked about. Storage in through there. But padded leather along here, nice and solid actually. Um, the seats, they are super nice the way they're shaped. So look at the level of peripheral support on all of these. So they come up quite high on either side and on the side. So it keeps you in the seat. And again, same kind of half leather we saw already. Height adjustable seat. Steering wheel goes in and out and up and down. Central armrest in through here for some stuff. And that is like ridiculously deep. So look at my arm. I can actually get up to nearly my arm. Like it's, it, it's extremely deep uh, compared to a lot of normal ones. There's a drinks holder in through there. And actually it's kind of hard to see during the day, but there is lighting goes around. Unfortunately, it is daytime. There's nice ambient lighting in these cars, uh, but on a day like today, 
Oh, any day. It's not as easy, but you won't see it today. It's way too bright. Uh, the steering wheel is super small. So what we're doing to do is go for a quick drive in the car. Actually, while we're going backwards, just to show you. So like we said, there is parking sensors and there's also a camera. And then even things like when I go backwards, the wing mirrors dip so you can see like what the wheels are at, which is quite useful. So when you're sitting in the car and it's 6 million degrees like it is at the moment, I press this button here for climate. I want cold and to speed up those fans for a sec. Turn on air conditioning. You're just switching buttons, AC on, AC off, automatic climate control, max air conditioning, turn off the system altogether, and then just general options in through here. In terms of driving the car then, so the first impression obviously you're high off the ground. There's a nice high mounted gear stick actually. It's lovely where it is and it's nice to use. The steering wheel is tiny and they kind of went about this a few years ago. It feels really weird at the start, but actually as you kind of get used to it, it's quite nice. I can't explain why. It does actually feel kind of cool, but it's just, reminds you like of a box car from years ago. There's good power in the car. It's 1.5, 130 horsepower. That's decent power for that uh, size of an engine. And it seems to be quite fuel efficient with figures of somewhere in the region of 45, 50 miles per gallon easily achievable and a nice dashboard and a nice cockpit overall this is actually it feels like an upmarket place to be in terms of acceleration like what we talked about then it is brisk it feels good so the car itself i don't think if you're unused to these cars i think it kind of drives like it looks so it looks good and it kind of drives like a nice car it's hard to explain um, but i haven't had anyone come drive one that wasn't uh, impressed with it when they drove it a couple of things that are worthwhile mentioning here so uh usb and all that kind of stuff in through there uh, 12 volt in through there, fine, 6-4 gears, handbrakes in through here. These buttons here, this is going to be for music. This one here is going to be for um, climate control. This one's going to be for navigation. This one's got, like, and actually there's lots of, I won't bore you to death, but there's kind of some pretty cool options in the navigation of how it looks and all that stuff. Um, car and options and settings in through there. One thing actually, probably won't really notice it here, but there is um, a, like, I'll lay in departure warnings and all that, but this here, that lights up, it's a blind spot indicator. Pretty cool actually, you don't see that on too many cars in this segment at this price point, in my opinion. Maybe there is lots that I haven't thought of, but uh, telephone in through there. And then after that, just general connectivity, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can use Google Maps and all that stuff. Over through here then, we can control over here, different versions of the um, dash setup. So this is, I think is an iCockpit or something like that. So you can have it that way with all your average fuel efficiencies or you can have it like that which is minimal with very little going on or you can have it with driving which is um, lane keep assist making all that kind of stuff more visible or i think you can have it with dials which is what i was driving out the road with so lots of ways like the navigation one's very cool when you're driving along you can literally have the nav up through the center and you still have the speedo and the revolution counter either side as well so it's it's very very cool anyway uh auto lights uh that come on at night automatic wipers that come on when it rains cruise control with a speed limiter and the memory function down through there um uh, electrochromatic rear mirror so darkens itself so nice car nice looking car nicely equipped car uh, and they seem to be selling well and they seem to hold value so we've had a couple of them through now and uh, we're starting to get a bit more used to them so yeah it seemed like a good car anyway hopefully that video gives you an idea of what the car is all about if there's more information you want on this car 086 843 1945 call text whatsapp brian's my name fitzpatrick's garage a family-run business in operation for almost 70 years hopefully the car is of interest uh, thanks many for watching